Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. Today I have October favorites. Yay! The first thing I want to talk about is the show How to Get Away with Murder. You guys need to jump on it if you guys are like into the whole criminal um, law and stuff, lawyers. It's a good show. It's every Thursday night. Um, it's really, really good. I really enjoy it. If you guys are like into the whole lawyer thing and um, the law and like criminal justice, I think you'll probably really enjoy it. Like if you enjoy Scandal, I know I love Scandal. I haven't been watching it because I'm waiting for it to like accumulate it in our TV so I can have like a whole day marathon. But How to Get Away with Murder has been like awesome and I always like have to watch it um, every Thursday night. I think it's my first product. This is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I'm in the shade 305. This is a little bit light for me because I did get a little bit tan in the summer and I did get this but um, it works well with the powder I use with the L'Oreal True Match in W7 so it kind of like uh, matches my skin complexion for seven dollars I want to say and it's affordable I think if you are oily to, to oily combo skin you probably like this and I really been enjoying it because of that it's oil free and it's super easy and lightweight and I've been using it with this brush, which is also my favorite that I've been using the whole month. This is Sephora Brush Mineral Powder Brush in the number 45. No. This product works well with this brush as well. It is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer, and I'm the shade Medium. These two with this brush honestly have been perfect combination for me. It blends out smoothly. I don't have to use my fingers, and it just like seeps into my skin. You right? this whole month. I've been using it every day. When I go to work, when I go to school, it's just a lightweight foundation. If you're really in a market looking for an oil-free and you have oil to combination skin, I would recommend this. Now, for the next product, I have the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit. And this is in the shade Medium. It's just your basic half the wax and then that, um, the powder. Now, I've been using the Gimme Brow Benefit one for my eyebrows, like, every day. And, I don't want to spend $20 all the time at Sephora like every so often. Now this is only $3 and I used it for my back to school makeup tutorial because this is only $3 and I mean it works pretty well so if you're in the market looking for one too I think you would really enjoy this. There's also like a light and a darker shade. I just got the medium one and I used the wax and the powder so it works out really good. Now the next thing is this EOS hand lotion and thank you Gabby for recommending this. This smells really good. I can't describe the scent to you. It's just very sweet. If you don't mind it, it's not like overpowering. But if you don't mind like sweet scents, I honestly don't mind. But I don't know. I thought it was like really cute. So compact. It fits in my purse and my little backpack. So the next item that I'm going to show you is another lotion. And it is the Pink Chiffon from Bath & Body Works. And I've been really liking this scent. It's very girly. It's very fruity and sweet. If you just kind of sense then I'm pretty sure you would like this now I've been wearing it every day and it's just I love it I want to get the little ones I can have around in my backpack next two items you guys are probably like we see that in all your videos well I do really really like these two combinations together first of all this is like a calligraphy felt tip pin it like really sharpens that cat eye and then this on top is just it makes the whole finish of it if you guys like are in the look out for a good felt tip one this is a very nice one that you i think you would really really like the next item is the soap that i had in my haul and honestly guys this is really really good for my brushes it cleaned it like really really good like i would just go like this and it will like deep clean it you don't have to even like use your fingers for this part only for rinsing them out but I did it a few times and it legit like took off all the makeup and all the foundation and all the eyeshadow. It was, it was nasty. I mean, I'm trying to do it like every week just because I do have acne prone skin. So I try not to miss it and honestly, within I guess the two weeks that I've gotten it or three weeks, it's been like really, really good. If you guys are looking for a cheap organic soap for your makeup brushes, I think you guys would enjoy this one. You can even get like the bottle one that I mentioned in my haul, but I think this is easier just because you can like actually brush it and stuff and kind of like make it easier for yourself a little bit. But that was it for my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what your favorites were of this month. 
And I hope you guys have a safe Halloween. Take care until the next time. Bye.